This is a one star, three star, and five star rated surf spot. And as a surfer, I've always been curious, what makes a beach different? Like, why are some surf spots considered holy grail and others you'd be considered a kook if you went? Well, today we are gonna be testing three different beaches at three different ratings to see if these reviews are true. No way. Parking's $10 here and I forgot my credit cards and we have to pay $10 to park here, which is absurd in most places except Apple Pay. I know that's very LA, but this place doesn't. Thank you to that random person who allowed me to use their credit card um, so I could go get my parking spot because I didn't have that prepared. I can't believe I'm not excited to surf right now. I just feel like there's not any waves. I haven't even seen a single surfer. There are people swimming, so the water can't be that bad, right? Samantha H. from Hawthorne, California said, Horrible. There are pieces of petroleum in the water. It smells really bad. Don't understand how it's still even open. Look at my feet. It's foul. Don't ever come here. Worst experience ever. Hope this helps a lot of people. Okay, we're going to do a smell check because Samantha says it smells like ass here. It just smells like a Californian beach. Daniela H says, if I had an option to give zero stars, I would. This is the most disgusting beach I've ever been to. I'm from Arizona and hadn't been to Santa Monica in years. I had no idea how rundown and garlic had gotten. It's definitely not the cleanest beach. I'm not gonna lie, the water does look like a little soupy, a little poopy. Okay, one thing I'm noticing a lot is that there's a lot of foam boards, which basically means there's a lot of beginners, which is not a bad thing. I think that's great because there's not a lot of beaches in California where there's not a lot of territorial culture and localism. And I think because Santa Monica is so touristy, there's like the pier, there's like a lot of tourist spots. I am a little worried that a lot of beginners who don't know what they're doing might let go of their board and hit other people. It looks a little chaotic, honestly. We're gonna see if I get hurt <laughs> or just have some fun. Honestly guys, it wasn't that bad. I had some fun. I feel like the waves were definitely not as clean and consistent. You had to like paddle around to find a good pocket. But the water wasn't that dirty. Like, actually, mm. <laughs> I was just tasting some residue of the sea water in my mouth and I was like, okay, it tastes kind of bad. But when I was in there, it wasn't dirty or polluted with a bunch of stuff. Like it was pretty clean. People were really friendly and they weren't crazy. I had, I give the cleanliness a two out of five. I give the waves a two out of five, but I give the vibe here, honestly, a four out of five. It's chill. People here are just here to have fun, you know? The entrance is just a street shot right there. So we're gonna walk through there in just a little bit. The great thing is it's street parking for free, which is even better. I'm gonna quickly get ready. I wanna shout out Spritz for sending me their swimwear deodorant because lately I've been a little bit stinky. Oh, we're just gonna try it together. I have a like, stinky ass wetsuit with like, what is going on here? That is not supposed to be there. We're just gonna tuck that in. Yeah, it smells like fish. And then we're gonna add this just so I don't if anyone gets close to me, they're not like, Ugh! is that Jade on YouTube? She smells like shit. You know, that actually works pretty good. Samantha S. gave three stars. Three stars for dirty ocean water. I've never been to a place more dirtier, but I love its nostalgic feeling to me. Love digging through the sand for seashells and sand crabs, yet I still have my weird inner child in me. Anna gave four stars. I'm not a fan of their sands. A lot of washed up sea detritus, not the brightest, softest, cleanest sand, but an authentic LA beach experience. It's so funny because someone compared this beach to the New York of beaches. In August, I believe LA County rated this beach a hazard because of how dirty the water is. I think it's clear that we gotta go, we gotta check it out. The cool thing about this place is there's two sides. There's Knob Hill, which is this spot right here. You can see that it is a bit bigger. The waves are barreling and it's more spread out. Like you have a bit more real estate with this spot. But on the other side is Sapphire Beach, which is we call the kiddie pool as a local. Honestly, it's big though. What are we talking about? That side's nice too. Usually this side, faster, stronger, bigger. The other side, fun, longboard, chill. I'm deciding what mood I'm in today. It's always gonna be up to what I'm into. Oh my god, wait, that's sick. <gasps> Just because a lot of people were saying how bad the water and beach is um, in terms of cleanliness, we're gonna just take a quick look in our area. Oh, yep, I see. I mean, like, unless you're looking, there's an entire line of what I think is debris or s trash. Uh, there's a, oh, a s <laughs> I mean, unless you look closely, there is a lot of debris, which I think is intertwined with this, like, seaweed. But who the fuck? Looks at this. Clean up after yourself if that's you though. The water gets a little gnarly. Like it is kind of dirty, especially after it rains. There's a sewer pipe like right there and it just goes 
into the ocean. So unless you're really terrified of getting sick, don't surf here. From what I know, people have gotten really sick before. But for me, I drink a bottle of this a day, so my immune system is like super used to it. But that's that's just me. I don't care the fuck if the beach is dirty. Let's go and see how good the surf is. We just got yelled at for filming here. They basically said don't film this spot because it's like a local spot, but like it's also not. Like if it was a local spot, I wouldn't say the name. It's Redondo Beach. Like the fucking pier is right there. Like if this is a secret, we're in a bad spot. The localism can be really rough in LA, but I didn't realize how bad it'd be here. The sand moves a lot, which makes it inconsistent. So you guys can see just me paddling a lot more for waves. So I definitely see how this is not rated the highest spot. I did not see that much debris. Only like see seaweed, okay? And seaweed's good for you. <laughs> No All right, Redondo, I give the cleanliness a three out of five. To me, it's not that bad. It's not super clean, but it's definitely safe. <laughs> and then I give the wave quality a three out of five. And lastly, I give the localism slash vibe a three out of five. People can be rude there, but some people are also super nice. So it just depends who you interact with. Cause as you can tell, we did not get the best of luck that day. So I just finished driving an hour. And apparently it's a 20 minute walk, which is a long walk with surfboards, carrying camera equipment, carrying my umbrella. Like to be honest, I'm quite nervous for this walk. It doesn't look like much, but apparently this is some of the best waves in the world. Hi, my name is C. <laughs> Hi, my name is Austin. And we're going to a local spot. Is it actually, is it pretty localized? Yeah. Are people mean? You think you're telling me people are super mean? I feel like kids are mean to be honest. Don't hate on me. Don't remember me, please. <laughs> I'm not C. <laughs> That's not my name. I feel like because you know how everyone has an e-bike and they surf here all the time. Yeah. There's this like, um, they feel like they own the place a little bit. But don't take me on that. Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't. don't we get my name is not C anymore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna count how many e-bikes we see. So so far three. I think you guys are gonna blend in just fine. <laughs> she think I'm a pro. I you, you, you got a DJ I logo at the top, you're fine. They're gonna be like, oh she's an athlete, she's one of us. No, was I was I start surfing? They're gonna be like, you're okay, okay, she's got it for free. <laughs> I just found that sticker. <gasps> oh sorry, I forgot to count. Four. How was it? Was good? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, people are nice. People are nice. What's oh, so going on right now? Okay, tell me why you started. Why I started surfing? Yeah. So I started surfing because I was deeply scared of the water and I couldn't swim. So I thought, why not face my fear and learn how to surf? So that's what I did. So I learned how to surf before I learned how to swim. Three years ago. I, I can swim now. <laughs> how much longer is this? I don't see the end of the road anymore. <laughs> it just goes up. We're almost there. Look at those people. All right, guys, we made it to Upper Trestles. Apparently, this is one of the highly rated surf spots in all of SoCal. Everyone here is literally pro. It took us over 40 minutes to get here. Robert H. from Colorado says, let's keep this between you and I, all right? We don't need any more people jamming the peaks. Lower trestles have been described as a one and a half miles of God's country for a reason. There are no parking lots or coastal view restaurants at the surf spot. Just you, the railroad tracks, sand and ocean. I can say this is true. Trestles makes you feel like you discovered a hidden gem. If you can ignore the other 50 surfers fighting for waves. And there's less than 50 today, thank God. Marco S. from Florida says, beautiful spot for waves, but very crowded. Really, really crowded. The walk from Cristianato's streets is really nice, but there's a lot of mosquitoes later in the day. There are a few porta potties by the railroad track. The surf is good, but the crowd ain't it. All of these reviews are pretty highly rated, so I guess the only thing is, is the crowds really that bad? Hey guys, we just got yelled at by this guy. What happened, see? 
Oh, it was just a different. Oh, sorry. I feel fa I feel so famous. Okay, it was the set come and there's a wave. It's a good one. And everyone at the peak trying to catch one, and everyone stood up. And we were right. We were at the shoulders, so they all riding towards us. There, there's no way for us to go because we're literally in the middle of three persons standing yeah. up. So like, I wish I can duck dive, but I couldn't. You know? Yeah. There's no way. So we just literally. So he just right past me. And then thank God he didn't hit us. Like I thought, he, yeah, like, I thought he was gonna run us over. But yeah, look, he ran me over. oh, he ran you over. Where is yeah, it? That's why he got very pissed. My voice broke. Oh, the water is super clean. It's really pretty. They break at a really consistent point. Personally, I need to sleep on my review. But for now, really fun. I'm just thirsty as fuck because we didn't bring any water. I give the cleanliness a five out of five. I give the wave quality a five out of five. It, this place is perfect. Okay, it is. God sent. However, I give the localism and vibe a one out of five, okay? I'm not a pro. I don't belong there. And that's definitely the vibe. If you're not a pro, you probably don't belong there, <laughs> which is my fault for going. But I just think it's very territorial and you should live there if you go there. Like, So let's talk about the final verdict. Are the reviews true? I think for the most part, yes, except Santa Monica. For some reason, I think people need to give that spot a little bit more credit for surfing wise. Comment below which beach you would go to or surf at. All right, thanks for watching. Shout out to the Cotwin. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. <sighs> 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 <sighs>